Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video we'll be going over the steps required on how to create custom liveries in ACC using GIMP. You can create your own custom livery like the one we have here on screen. A number of ways you can create custom liveries but this is the way that I've found works best for me without getting too confusing. Let's get into it. Right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we click on single player, we click on the team and then we click on add. This is for the car that you're going to want to make your custom livery for. We'll use a Lamborghini. So in here you'd put your car number that you want to display and your team name. We'll just use DDR and you click save. Once that's saved, you can back out of it and back out your game. Close this down. From here, we want to go to our documents tab. We want to go to the ACC folder, customs and cars. Now the car at the top will be the one that you just created, providing that you've got it set as date modified. So we open this up. In here, what we want to do is skin template key. We're going to change that to 99. We can check that our team name's right. So we got that right. And we want to go down to where it says custom skin name in between the brackets there. This is where you're going to write the name for your folder where the game knows to look for your custom livery. So we're just going to write YouTube. Once that's done, we can save it. So file, save that, and then close it. Then we're going to want to right click on here and copy it. Go back to your customs tab, go to liveries, and then we create a new folder in here with the name that you've just put in. So YouTube. And then save that. So we open this up next, right click and we paste the file in that we just copied. Now we want to open this file up, delete everything in the brackets, we'll leave the two brackets there. So we delete that just like so. And we're going to want to go into our paint values. All the links for this should be in the description down below. We open this up. We're going to do our paint as glossy. So we take the values out of here, copy this. Close that. We can close that. And we're going to paste that inside here like so. Then we're going to file, save and close that. We then right click on here and rename. We're going to rename this to decals so it knows to pick it up in the game. And enter. So for this one, decals is your paint job. We're going to do another folder for our sponsors as well. The sponsors will show up over the top of your paint. So just right click here, copy, and then paste. And then we're going to want to change this name to sponsors. And enter. Just make sure that it keeps the files as JSON files. So for instance, you might want your car not to be glossy. So inside here, rather than where we printed the, the glossy, you could put chrome or metallic. So you could have your paint job as chrome and then your stickers as glossy. But for the sakes of this video, we're just going to leave them both as glossy. So once that's done, we can close this. Then you open up your wireframes folder. Open this and get the wireframe for the vehicle that you're doing your livery on. So we want the Lamborghini Evo 2. Double click on this. And open up this one with GIMP. Let's give her a second. Close this old one. 
we click on convert. What was that? That's an old project. And it'll bring you up something like this. Well, it'll look exactly like this. What you want to do is click on your UV and you can see your car wireframe. We go to layers, new layer. We're going to, this is going to be our paint job, so we call it paint. Click on OK. Once that's done, you are pretty much good to go with your painting. So, say for instance, you want your doors to be, let's say, blue. What I do, which is the quickest and easiest way, is let's zoom in a little bit. I go to free select and we're going to highlight the doors like so. Just make sure that the only things that you're highlighting are the stuff that you want to paint in. So we join that up. We'll go to the bucket tool and we'll paint this blue. Let's say we want the bonnet to be black. Again, we just go to your reselect tool. I like this. Now you don't have to highlight it and do it this way. This is just the quickest way. You might want different colors and maybe multi colors so if you want that you'd go to your paintbrush and then you'd color it in whichever color you'd want it and whereabouts you'd want it but for this we're just going to quick select for the bonnet we want black so we go back to our fill tool and we paint that black next what you want to do once you're happy with the paint and everything is you Unhighlight the UV and you unhighlight the color. Let's move our paint up here. Sorry, move the paint up to there. So you don't highlight everything, so you just have your colors here on a checkerboard like that. Next, we go to File. We want to go down to Export as. We're going to call this Decals. We want it to go in documents. So first you click on select file type, go down to PNG. Is it PNG image? Make sure that's selected. We go to our documents folder, um, a set of course of competition. Then we go down to customs, liveries, and we select the folder that we created earlier. So we click on YouTube and click export. Make sure your interlacing is selected and click export. Once that's done, we can minimize this. And we can open our game back up again. Once your game's loaded up, go back onto single player, select your car, and select the car that you just created. We had the Lamborghini. Take a couple of seconds while it loads your painting. And there you see, we've got the doors painted like we painted, and we've got the bonnet black. So you just do this and go through all the wire mesh and paint the car however you want it. Now, once you've done that, if you want to make any changes, you have to bring up your documents folder again. Back into your ACC folder, you go to your customs, you go to liveries, back into your folder that you created, and we delete 
make sure you don't delete the sponsors and the decal json they need to stay but you delete the two things like so you can minimize this then we can go back onto our paint job in gimp select your uv again so you can see your wireframe but select your color again and then let's say for instance we don't want our doors blue we want to change them to black as well we'll just select that and we will paint them black then you need to deselect your uv and your color again press on your file and export export to decals that will just put it straight on so once that's done you click back on your game and if you click back here go back onto your livery just make sure that's done now you can see the doors are black and your bonnet's black but whenever you make a change you go into your documents folder and you delete them two things and then you do whatever changes you need to do and then you export it again now let's say for video's sake we're happy with that now we want to start with our stickers with our sponsors so we will close this close this down we go back to our gimp we are gonna close this completely We want to open up our wire mesh folder again. We go back to whichever car it is you're doing. Open up the wire mesh again. This time we're going to be doing the sponsors to go over the top of the paint. So convert there. Let's highlight these again. We need to create a new layer again. We go to layer, new layer. This one we're going to want to call sponsors or stickers, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to save that like that. We move our stickers underneath the UV. Let's say, for instance, on this one, we want to put our names on the door. So we'll click on make sure our stickers are collected we click on whatever sticker it is you want to put on so in this case i'm going to put my name on the door i'll go to where i've got it saved in my cases in here in here and there so you can see it gives you a little picture of what it is that you're about to put on so we want to put my name on the door so we'd open this up, click on it and drop it into here. Let's turn the color off so we can see it a bit better. And we'd line it up with the door. What's happened there? Right. So yeah, we'd line it up with the door where we want it now if it's too big well that looks massive on there just right click on it go down to layer you go to scale layer and make it as small as you want it's normally 250 for me for this one scale it we can zoom into our picture and then we just line this up wherever you want it on your door so let's just put it there for now so say that's done and we want to check it out over the top of our paint job we would get rid of the uv again so it's just your checkerboard and your stickers we would go to file export as this time we're going to rename it to sponsors
we change the file type to PNG again. And we're going to save this in the documents folder. Click on your ACC, customs again, liveries, and select the folder again. And we will export it to here. Make sure your interlacing is on. Click export. Once that's done, it's exported. We can minimize this. If you click back again, and then back on your car. Should see that now the sticker's on top of the paint job. That's pretty much it for this video. You can go as wild as you want, paint all multicolored cars or however you want to do it. But hopefully it's helped. If it has, please do drop a like on the on the video. It really does help. And that's it for this one. If you also, if you get stuck, give me a shout, drop me a message. I'll do my best to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.